What's going on everyone? How you doing? My name is Joe and I am one half of Two Crazy Ketos and today I have a super easy product hack. I'm going to teach you how to make your own folios at home and it takes less than 30 seconds and I'll show you right after this. So when these folios were first announced, Rachel and I were super excited. We went on the hunt for them everywhere. We looked in all of our local grocery stores. We went to Sam's Club, BJ's, Costco, Walmart. We even looked in Whole Foods and we couldn't find them anywhere until they popped up in one of our local Aldi's. The only problem is, in my personal opinion, they're a little expensive at $1.25 a wrap. Now, if you don't know what these folios are, is they're pretty much cheese wraps. Rachel and I did a review of them and I'll leave a link to it right up here as well as down in the description. Well, today I'm gonna to show you how to make your own folios at home. It's gonna take you less than 30 seconds and it's only gonna cost you about 15 cents and it's super easy to do. Now, in order to do this, you're only gonna need a few things. You're gonna need a bag of shredded cheese, any kind of cheese you want. You're gonna need some kind of a microwave bowl. I found that a silicone bowl works best for this. You'll need a rolling pin and then you're gonna need some parchment paper. So let's dive down and I'll show you exactly how we make these. These cheese wraps are super easy to make. Now the Folio's cheese wraps are actually one and a half ounce sheets. So I've put my bowl onto my scale and I've zeroed it out and I'm gonna add just one and a half ounces of shredded cheese to it. And that's about right, right there. Now I'm gonna take this and stick it in the microwave for about 20 to 25 seconds, depending on your microwave. So you can see after 20 seconds, the cheese is pretty much melted. Now I'm just gonna take a spatula and mix it around. Now again, I prefer a silicone bowl for this because it seems to uh, slide around in the bowl a little bit easier and not stick to it. I've tried it in a glass, it worked, but it wasn't as easy. Now we're just gonna put it onto a sheet of parchment paper, try to make it a circle. We're gonna take another sheet of parchment paper, put it over the top, and just try to spread it out a little bit. And again, you can make this in any shape you want. I'm gonna do my best to get it into a circle, but I'm not super great at that. And then we're gonna take our rolling pin and just roll it out thinner. Now you can roll this as thin or as thick as you want. I'm gonna make it probably about the same thickness as a folio. I'm just gonna use your judgment. And again, I'm not really great at making it a perfect circle. I'm sure you guys are better at that than I am. Okay, from here I'm gonna stick it in the refrigerator for just like a minute or two to let it set. Okay, so it's been about a minute. Let's go ahead and get it out of the refrigerator. So here we go, moment of truth. All we're gonna do is peel off the top layer of parchment paper and take a look at that. We have our own folio. Just to compare it, you can take a look at these are the actual folios. Obviously theirs are a little bit better shape than mine are. I'm sure you guys could make this a circle better than I can. But now that you've got it, you can go ahead and crisp this up just like the folios. Just stick it in the microwave for about a minute on a sheet of parchment paper. It'll crisp right up. Or you can do what I do is I've actually made a bunch of them ahead of time. Just keep the parchment paper on them just like this and then stick them in a Ziploc bag and you can store them in the refrigerator. So here's the best part. I bought this bag of shredded cheddar cheese at Walmart and it was $7 for 32 ounces. So that means this bag will make 48 folios and that comes out to be just 14 and a half cents per folio. Add in the cost of your parchment paper, you're probably a little bit over 15 cents you know, for each one. And you're gonna compare that to buying these, which are $5 for just four folios. Now you don't even have to use pre-shredded cheese. You can go buy a block of cheese and shred it yourself. It was just more convenient for me. We all generally have some kind of cheese in our house. Uh, but if you use regular block cheese, it'll actually be better because you won't have the potato starch that they add into this. You, know, you can use cheddar cheese, mozzarella cheese, you can use Gouda cheese, Monterey Jack cheese, you can even use Parmesan cheese. Whatever you want to use, you can make your same folios at home at a quarter of the cost and it's super easy and then you don't even have to go on the hunt for them like Rachel and I did. So 
that is our video for today. Hopefully you guys have learned something. Hopefully we've helped you save just a little bit of money or maybe just the aggravation of not going out looking for your own folios. Let us know down below uh, if you try this and let us know what kind of cheese you decide to use when you do try it. If you like what you saw, do us a favor and hit the like button down below. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and make sure you hit the little bell icon so that you're notified every time we upload a new video. We are uploading new videos every Friday and shooting for every other day. And until next time, bye.